As I shared earlier today, uh, Steam released their game recording feature. It's called game recording. You can activate it by just going to Steam, uh, to settings, and then go to game recorder options. And then you can uh, choose it to let it either do it manually and just start it and stop it or let it record in the background. Now this feature is amazing. Basically it gives you so many things to control over the recording and basically it has a built-in timeline which is kind of video editor, uh, mini video editor and also the ability to export games. So it has a built-in converter and everything was done very simply and it works both on games you import to Steam and those of course uh, native Steam games. So basically it works with any game as long as it allows the Steam overlay. Now the question is how would it compare to Nvidia Shield and uh, OBS? So I already made a video talking about the difference between Nvidia Shield and I found of course uh, this feature, the game uh, recording from Steam to be so much better. It has so many features that are so much more advanced that if you can use the Steam recorder, I highly recommend doing so. Although there's one caveat, uh, which I hopefully this will be addressed, or maybe I miss something, that it's only record voiceover with a single channel. So both the game and the voiceover will be presented as a single channel where you import it into a video editing software. This means that for others, it can be a deal breaker. Hopefully this will be addressed, or if it exists, I didn't find it. So before we go to quick comparison, uh, first of all, you kind of virtualize uh, the recording. So it just create a timeline with lots of metadata. It allows you to add custom markers during the game. So you don't need to record all the time. You can come to the recording later on and just choose to, you know, record, uh, export a clip from a specific time segment in the timeline uh, and then export it as a video later on. And the markers are either made by you or uh, the developer use them for their game to inject them into your timeline. Like for example, when you level up, when you get a kill, and you can actually see it in the timeline later on and then focus on those certain events to easily recognize specific and important events that you want to export video from. You can see they also have uh, different icons. Uh, developers can choose icons to inject them into the timeline. Really cool feature. So the thing is, generally speaking, that is not as advanced and confusing as, for example, OBS, which is much more advanced, uh, but still designed to be accessible and easy to use with a timeline feature that makes it very easy to both record, extract videos, share, control the quality, the file size, even if you're not such a very technical person. Although again, in terms of technicality, the NVIDIA show is much easier in that aspect, but again, it's much less advanced. Although NVIDIA Sheet does allow you to have two separate channels for voiceover and game sound. Again, this is just the first release. I'm pretty sure they're going to add some more features and maybe things that uh, I miss or are missing. We're going to find them uh, later on in future updates. So just make a quick comparison. Let's go over it. In terms of ease of use, uh, definitely NVIDIA is very easy. But again, it's very minimal, minimalistic. So that's why it's very, very easy to use. Uh, Steam game recording, still very easy to use and integrate into Steam. So they kind of choose a balance both for advanced features and ease of use and they done it very well. OBS requires some setup configuration and there's so many options that you can add, more than you can even imagine with so many plugs and stuff and things related to even remote content and lots of customization options and changing the quality and different options for recording and codecs. Although again, it's much more complicated, it gives you so much more degree of control in doing very creative things with your video recording. You create different layers and there you can add many different audio sources and many different overlays. You can even combine different layers of different games. This is way more professional and way more advanced, way more advanced than anything else here uh, in this comparison. This is superb software for both streaming and video recording alike. Now, it is a performance impact based on my experience of uh, the Steam game recording at minimal performance impact. So does NVIDIA Shadowplay, uh, and, but OBS, I had issues with it even lately with uh, Monster Hunter Wilds, which actually once I stopped using it and using NVIDIA Shield, the difference was mind blowing. I got so many frames, I was actually shocked the difference was so big. And actually using recommended settings anyway, it has much bigger impact than I thought. Not all the time it's meaningful, but certain games that really stress out the, uh, my computer you know, in terms of uh, graphic resources and, and maybe CPU as well, sometimes even stuck. It just tells me that you know, it can't encode anymore because just the system is too busy. All right, so in terms of customization, uh, again, listen, also the game recording from Steam is quite limited in options, but it's way more than you get with Nvidia Shadowplay. Because again, talking about customizations, you know, mixing and matching different things, and you know, it's it's much more limited in this aspect. Although in terms of features overall, it's much more uh, 
uh, advanced component here video shadow play yeah in terms of customization again there's more than that here uh, sorry additional features uh, we're gonna skip it here uh, they're much more than that I actually uh, wrote more about it just down below in terms of voiceover when I input it into the video editor it actually showed just one channel uh, hopefully this can be addressed or maybe I missed something but I did check uh, if you know more, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, but other ones, OBS and NVIDIA Shield. Actually, with OBS, you can do several channels, of course. You can really get crazy with it. Uh, but again, it does support two separate channels. In terms of built-in timeline, well, this is a great thing about having a Steam game recording. You have a big timeline. It's actually virtualized everything. So if you temporarily timeline and then you can go and extract clips for it. Think about it like a stream, for example, watching a stream and deciding to clip out uh, certain parts of it uh, and save it as a video or share it or whatever. The markers are, I think, the most innovative thing here. This is just, this is going to make huge change in terms of people favoring this feature, uh, this uh, recording feature, uh, sorry, this recording app. And this is because it allows you to other you customizing markers, putting markers, instead of just, you know, all right, I'm gonna save the, the last 60 seconds now, and then you go back and you want to edit it, and then you need to edit each video, especially if several video and you want to edit many of them, you can just put markers. Later on, when you go back to the timeline, you can just focus on what you want to extract. And also, as I mentioned, devs can also add their own markers. So if there are some really important things in the game, like you level up, for example, and uh, especially for recording a very long gameplay, like maybe even several hours, uh, you can just save those uh, moments. And imagine saving very, very big, uh, you know, lengthy gameplay and you need to find all the things. Before that, if you record, you need to go back and search for it. Maybe you just record many clips. Here, you just put the markers. Then you go back and you can just, you know, take out the things that are important. Either the developer and uh, put something inside or you put it yourself. You can actually add markers even after you just watch the timeline. You can add custom markers yourself when you watch the gameplay yourself. I'm saying lots of yourself here. I know. All right. Easy to share content. Yeah, this is like, you know, having a mobile versus desktop. It's so easy just to share content either into Steam or even create a barcode and share it with others uh with a link daily lots of cool free, uh, features to quickly share with others uh works with all game, uh, games and desktop uh, yeah yes with an exception again with the steam that you need to uh be able to have the overlay if you can actually have the overlay it won't work this is why you can actually add games to steam that are not steam by default and then it will work although some games might have problems with that like i've tried to for example uh bring up uh a game from Epic Games, but it requires the login, so it didn't work, so I couldn't use it. All right, so there are some issues with certain games. Record lasts uh, X seconds, and of course you can do it for minutes, just more seconds, yeah. Available, take screenshots, yeah, easily clip from long recording. Well, this is a big advantage for uh, Steam game recording because again, it kind of virtualizes it. Uh, it saves it temporary big file. You can have a very long one, uh, even until you don't have enough space on your computer if you choose a specific game. And then you can easily just go and clip it out. You have a timeline, you have all the controls, simple controls to just clip it out. You don't need a video editor in order to save clips from uh, a long video. Whether if I want to do it, for example, if I record from NVIDIA, uh, Shadow Play or OBS, I need to bring it into a video editor and then extract it out. Here it just works. We can actually choose also uh, the quality, the length by size. You can decide even the, to reduce it from Full HD, maybe to HD or from 4K uh, to Full HD. Really great options. All right, uh, video quality control. Yes, the best is in OBS by far. NVIDIA is very limited. Steam game recording uh, has uh, more features. So yeah, overall, uh, if you really want the best control of the video quality, I mean, by far, I'm telling you, there's nothing like OBS in that aspect. This is really great for those who are doing streaming and those who want to really very high quality or great degree of control over the different quality and the codec and other different settings. Uh, OBS is the way to go by far. Still, Steam game recording bring very good features and keep it simple. The ability to modify bitrate, FPS, or export, again, you can't really do it in OBS. You can decide it ahead of time. But when you go to Steam game recording, because it's kind of virtualized, you have the timeline, you can then extract uh, a clip, a video, and then modify the resolution, bitrate, uh, and, and the frames uh, before you export it. Really great feature. If you don't know about anything in, about video editing, you don't want to mess with it, you still can create some really cool clips and export it at the right, uh, you know, uh, frame rate, resolution, and so on. Send a video to phone. Yeah, it is available. Uh, create your link. I mentioned, yes, set quality levels for individual titles. 
this is great again because again it allows you for if for example games that don't require lots of uh, you know higher quality for example for whatever reason you need lower quality to save space you can do that and it works per title so you launch the title it recognizes the title and uses that setting so for example for a specific uh, title you can just record for example the last uh, five minutes for example and put the quality on low all the other one it doesn't exist so again really a nice way to segment that in terms of the timeline uh, plugin support, uh, yeah, or OBS, of course, there's nothing like it. Who knows, maybe they're gonna add something similar in Steam game recording later on. Prevent desktop reporting, yeah, available in all of them, OBS, Nvidia Shadow Play, and Steam game recording. All right, uh, SDK for developers, for OBS, uh, you have the options to create different plugins and stuff, and basically extend the features. Uh, using plugins and uh, stuff and Nvidia Chevrolet doesn't have that. Steam game recording has the option for uh, developers with an API to a specific event, state, description, game modes. Uh, so you know exactly, you know what, for example, if you have a certain game modes, you can actually segment it. So you know this is a game mode specifically that I'm, uh, you know, this time, uh, um, it's available in time, so you can focus on that. Or maybe if you level up, you're gonna see a marker there. Really, this is a fantastic feature. One of the most innovative and, and great features that uh, players we want to use Steam game recording for. So you don't even need to add markers yourself. If you play Dota 2, let's say, for example, and add custom markers, everything will be there in your timeline automatically. So yeah, which one is best for? Well, OBS, advanced users want full control over the recordings. Nvidia Shadowplay, casual gamers who want easy, high quality recordings and Steam game recording. And again, this is the other one is for Steam users uh, who want quickly record gameplay. But again, it has many more features compared to Nvidia Shadowplay. So yes, yeah, so when Valve are doing something, they just nail it out of the park. We know that, right? It's going to be like something quality. And it is, it is. And I'm really happy that, you know, to just tell you that it does bring some really useful features. And some of them we're going to see even, we're going to find it more useful once developer we're going to add those uh, specific markers and other features using the SDK. And then they also kept things very simple, very easy, very intuitive. So now it's become much, much easier to create some really cool content uh, from your gameplay in very easy and fast manner. And that's about it. Which one you prefer? Are you still continuing playing using Nvidia? Or now if you're playing on Steam, you're going to use this one? Or you're just going to stay with OBS because it has just all the features that you want? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you have more things to add, mention them in the comment section below uh, so more can learn about uh, the different uh, differences between those three. Thanks for watching.